This is Pastor Patty Ellis with Harvest New Life Church International, Harvest New Life Studios. It is a beautiful day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us be glad in it. We thank you for joining us today. We are on our second segment of Stress Relief. So let's go ahead and just take a moment to get grounded, just really to get ready to hear the Word of God. So grab your pencils, grab your pens, grab your paper. Let's see what God is showing us today as we go forth in His Word. I'll be back with you in just a moment. We thank you for joining us today. We are in our second segment of Stress Release. And we are going to come out of Matthew 11 today. But let's go ahead and open up with prayer so we can get ready to, to hear the word of God, to really see, you know, what is God showing us today as we go forth in his word. We thank you, Lord, for this day, this beautiful day that you've created. Lord, as we go forth in the word, we just ask you that you open up our spiritual ears and you open up our spiritual eyes, that we may hear and see the direction that you have for each one of us as we go forth in your word. Lord, as, as I'm going forth today, I just ask you that you take all of me out, put all of you in, so we can hear from the kingdom, so we can hear the direction that you have and the instruction that you have for us in your wisdom today. Lord, let us, let us be grounded with you today. Help us to forget about yesterday. Help us to forget about this morning. Help us to really to, to forget about what is really going on in our lives right now so we can be ever so present and have our spiritual ears open for you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Again, we're, we're coming out of our second segment of Stress Release. And we are going to start in Matthew 11. And in Matthew 11, chapter 11, we're in the New Testament. In chapter 11, we're going to come down and we're going to start at the 27th verse. So Matthew 11, 27. And let's, let's look at what God is telling us when we're going forth in our second segment today. And we really want you to, to take notes on these scriptures, because when we talk about stress, we look at what, you know, what kind of gets us off course sometimes and what really, sometimes when we're really stressed, if we're, if we just feel like we're really carrying a heavy load, it's kind of sometimes hard to get focused. But when we want to talk about coming to the scriptures, we want to talk about what how is, is God showing us how to, to let that stress go in our life? Because what happens when we're stressed? It sometimes affects us physically. And it gets us off that course that God has called us to be. But sometimes that stress can really kind of be a, a motivator for us. But we're talking today about the stress that just really kind of gets us off course. So let's look at this scripture. Again, we're in Matthew 11 and we're at the 27th verse. It says, all things have been delivered to me by my father. And no one knows the son except the father. Nor does anyone know the father except the son. And the one to whom the son wills to reveal him. Let's see what, what that looks like for, for a moment in the common English version it said, my father has handed all things over to me. No one knows the son except the father. 
and nobody knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wants to reveal him. We know that we have our Father, our Heavenly Father. We have God as the, as the head of our life. And who is his son? Jesus Christ. Now, let's, let's look at that again. My father has handed all things over to me. You know, Jesus is, is speaking to the, the multitude. We don't know exactly know who that multitude is, but really the, this, Jesus is speaking to us. My father has handed all things over to me. No one knows the son except the father. And nobody knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wants to reveal Him. Let's, sometimes we have to step back and just, who's, who's are we? Who's the head of our life? And I think about this when, you know, when, when we're feeling stressed. You know, we, we have to step back and like, okay, who's, who's our Heavenly Father? And heavenly, our Heavenly Father gave us His only begotten Son. Look, look at that. Sometimes we just have to step back and just, okay, you know what? Whatever's going on in my life, we have to remember, I have to remember that who's the head of my life? And we have this Holy Spirit within us that has been given to us that leads us and guides us every day. That when we are stressed, we're not alone. That we have to remember whose we are. Look at this 28th verse, and I'm going to stay in the common English version right now. It said, come to me, all you who are struggling hard and carrying heavy loads. Let's, let's look at that right there. Come to me, all you. That means all of us. That means you. That means me. All you who are struggling hard. I like the common English version because it just really breaks it down. All of you who are struggling hard and carrying heavy loads. That's that, that trouble in our life. That's that, those challenges in our life. That sometimes that feel like a heavy load. You've heard me say this before. Those like the box box of rocks that you're carrying around. Come to me, all you who are struggling hard and carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. We have to look at this. Let's look, let's look at that 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 one passage right there. Have you ever, maybe right now you're carrying that heavy load and it feels really heavy. Not only are you carrying that heavy load, you're just, you're really struggling. We don't know what your struggle is. You know what you, what your struggle is and what may even come to be. God has given us these scriptures. Our heavenly father just knows ahead of time. We talked about this last week. That God already knows our passage. God already knows our life. He knows what's yet to come. He's given us these scriptures that we may have that wisdom. And we may have that encouragement all the time. Not just some of the time, all the time. And that's why I say you're going to write down these scriptures. Because there's going to be a time that you're going to need them. Maybe right now is when you need them. Maybe tomorrow is when you need them. But we have these scriptures that that feed us and that nurture us and guide us. God has given us so much in his word. And look at that last part of that, that verse. And I will give you rest. Those that are you, those of you that are struggling hard, those are the, that you're carrying those heavy loads, come to me. We talked about last week in First Peter. It says, "Cast your cares." That when we 
have those, those cares, those heavy loads, that's really the same thing as those cares. When we cast our cares to our Heavenly Father, that means that we don't have to carry them anymore. And you may say to me, like, how, how do I do that? We talked about that last week. How do, you, how do I cast my cares? I know it says that in the Word. How, how do I do that? You come to your, your Heavenly Father, just as we're doing right now. And you come to your Heavenly Father in prayer. Remember, we have, we have a great big Jesus in, in, the, in the inside of us. That's there to guide us. When we cast our cares, we say, Lord, I, I'm going to put down these heavy rocks. This, this heavy load that I'm carrying, I'm going to put it down. I don't have to carry it anymore because you said in your word that if I come to you, if I'm struggling, if I'm carrying this heavy load, that you're going to give me that rest. But look look at what you have to do. You have to do, and this is how I encourage you to come to the word of God because you have to come for yourself. You have to come and you're the one who has to put down that heavy load. You're the one that has to cast your cares, that cast that, that heavy bag of rocks for your, for your heavenly father to, to handle. You have to do your part. And I love how Jesus said it in the scripture. It says, come to me. Look how what Jesus is saying. Come to me. Look, look how basic that is. And, but what happens when we get into that struggling mode? What happens when we, when we get overloaded with those burdens, with those, those heavy loads? What happens? We get sometimes blinded. And we, we say, we start to talk to our friends. Oh, this is going on in my life. And maybe to your family, maybe to even to strangers that you have all this stuff going on. But where, what, look what Jesus is saying in that 20, that very first, come to me. It doesn't say go to your friends, go to your family, you know, go to all these other people co-workers come to me all you who are struggling hard and carrying heavy loads and I will give you rest what does that mean that I will give you peace you don't have to carry that Jesus is telling us we don't have to carry that heavy load come to me and look at this 29th verse Put on my yoke and learn from me. I am gentle and humble, and you will find rest for yourselves. Isn't that amazing? That if I come to, to Jesus, if I come in, in with my heavy load, if I come with all this, this heavy bag of rocks, that I'm going to have rest. Because how, how is it when you carry all this by yourself? It's kind of like, you know, when you start to talk with other people and you start to talk with your coworkers, you start to talk to your friends and you're carrying this heavy bag of rocks. It's like you're going in a circle and you're never putting it down. You're carrying it and you're carrying it and you're carrying it and you're carrying it. And what does it do? It just gets you tired. And then what happens when you get tired, you, you start to, you know, that depression kind of starts to set in because you don't know what to do. You're carrying it and you're carrying it. You're talking about it, carrying it. You're struggling, but you're not taking it to the one that can give you rest. And that's why Jesus says, come to me. And I, I think we can all put ourselves in that scripture right there, in that passage right there, because I can guarantee all of you, and I know I have struggled before, and I have felt like I've carried some heavy loads. But how great is it when you cast your cares, when you, you say, okay, Lord, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this heavy bag of rocks to you. I'm going to give you these heavy burdens of mine. 
because I'm tired. I can't carry it anymore. And that's why Jesus has to put it in this. That's why we have to have it right here in the scripture that we can come to. That I'm, I guarantee when you when you have that that heavy burden, and maybe right now you've got that, or you have that that trouble in your life that feels like you're, it's coming from all directions. I, I've felt that before, where it just comes from everywhere. It comes from work. It comes from family. It comes from friends. It just feels like you're just being in the cyclone. That when you come to this scripture. And you read it and you might have to read it 10 times, 20 times, however many times till it gets sunken into you. Jesus just says, it's so easy. What he's saying, just come to me. All of you who are struggling hard and I will give you rest. And I'm, and I'm staying right here for a moment on this scripture because we, we have to get that sunk in on us. Because in this world, in this natural world that we live in, it's kind of like all about, you know, it, it, it's telling you to, to, it's all about you, that you got to do it and you have to fight and you have to, you know, do what feels good. And, but in, in, when we're a vessel of God, when we're God's child, we don't operate that way. We're not made to be that way. When we're in the kingdom, we're a vessel. We house the Holy Spirit within us. When we're a child of God, we have these this special privilege. We're, we're God's children. We're, we're the ones with the capital T, capital H, capital E, we're the ones. We're the special children. And with, when we get, when we're that, that special child, when we're the elect, we don't have to carry that, that heaviness. It doesn't mean that we aren't going to have some burdens sometimes, but whenever we have them, God has already said, give them to me. God is the one that leads us. God is the one that handles things in our life. In that 30th verse, it says, my yoke is easy to bear and my burden is light. When we give, give that heavy backs rocks over, have you ever carried something really heavy before? And you're just like, sometimes you're winded. You, you know, it's, it's a lot of effort to carry. And once you put it down, you're like, whoo, that feels a lot better and not having to carry it, doesn't it? Think about that as your burdens. When you lay it down, it's kind of like you have that extra energy that you don't have to, you don't have to carry it anymore. God has already worked out everything in our life. We just have to go with God's plan. We have to lay those burdens down. We don't have to carry that heaviness. We may still be in the midst of it, but we don't have to carry it. Because God has already worked things out in our life. This builds our faith. This builds our trust. Whenever we go through these struggling times, and so, some of us call them stressful times, this is where God works with us. This is how God continues to, to build that faith, to build our relationship with Him. We take it one step at a time. And I want to take you over to 2 Corinthians. We just talked about vessels and you, you've heard me with this, this scripture before, but it goes right into what we're talking about. That we have to remember whose we are. 
we have to remember that we're vessels of God. And with vessels of God, let's let's see how that works in this kingdom. We're in 2 Corinthians. We're still in the New Testament. 2 Corinthians 4, fourth chapter. Let's look at the seventh verse. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellent of the power may be of God and not of us. In this, the other version, the common English version, says, but we have this treasure in clay pots. That's us. Vessels. We're vessels. We're those clay pots. So that the awesome power belongs to God and doesn't come from us. When we lay our burdens down, when we cast our cares, when we give up this, that heavy bag of rocks to over to the Lord, then we know that that power, when we get that that relief in our life that we it belongs to God it doesn't come from us it's the power of God look look at this eighth verse we are experienced all kinds of trouble but we aren't crushed we are confused but we are not depressed we are harassed but we aren't abandoned We are knocked down, but we aren't knocked out. Look at that. Do you see how with everything that we experience, God helps us. God shows us. God takes care of us. Doesn't mean that we aren't going to experience some things. But when we do experience some things, God has, has already turned it around. And when we, when we are um, in that scripture, it says, well, when we are experiencing all kinds of trouble, that we don't, you know, you can fill in the trouble part because we all have different challenges in our life and we all experience different things. We all, sometimes are little things, sometimes are big things, but it doesn't crush us. Every little bit of, of challenges in our life, think of it as, as being good. I know you might think, how can a challenge be good? That allows us to show really God's power in our life. That really allows you to say, okay, I'm going to take this challenge and I'm going to give it over. I'm going to be in prayer. I'm going to say, Lord, I need you to handle this for me. Lord, I need you to show me. I need you to, to guide me. God wants us to have that communication. Wants us to continue just to, to, to stay connected to, to the kingdom. Wants us to have that conversation with them. That, you know, let's look back at that scripture that come to me. All you that are, that are heavily laden, and I'm going to give you rest. All of you that are really struggling, and I'm going to give you peace. I'm going to give you that rest. This is how, if you've never done it before, this is a great opportunity to start. Start in prayer. Start in the scripture. As you come to the scriptures and you start to read them, God starts to speak to you. It's kind of in the scriptures that he who has a ear to hear, let him hear. That we, we can open up our spiritual ears and God can speak to us in such unique ways. God knows you. He knows me. He knows how to, to speak to us and how to work with us. He wants us to just be willing to be those willing earthen vessels. Because God can, can accomplish so much in your life. Can take that, that stress off of you. Can give you that rest in your life. Even if you're having those challenges in your life. It's, it's God that's, that's leading us in it and that's guiding us. The word of God is, is amazing. 
you've got to come to the word of God and, and read. And you might say, okay, well, I don't understand everything. The more that you read it and the more that you ingest it, you gain wisdom little by little. And you do it more and you do more and you do when you come to the to the word of God more, you get more wisdom. And this allows you to have more rest and more peace. Coming to the word of God. And you know, you've, you've heard this scripture from me before in, in Deuteronomy 31. I'm going to read it to you again in the eighth verse. And the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. It says, but the Lord is the one who is marching before you. He is the one who will be with you. He will not let you down. He won't abandon you. So don't be afraid or scared. Just a different version. He is going before you. Just as as Moses was taking the people, the people out of captivity. We talked a little bit about this last week, that he is telling that he's going to, he's telling Moses, he's the one that goes before you. That God has already laid the path out. You've already had that success. And he's telling you that he will not leave you or forsake you. Don't be feared or dismayed. And that, that's encouraging. That's encouraging us to continue to go forward. Okay, there might be some things that we may encounter. But we have to remember this. That that the Lord will never leave me. The Lord will never forsake me. The Lord will never leave you. He will never forsake you. You don't have to fear. No matter what it looks like. No matter what you may see. The Lord will never leave you. And he will never forsake you. And we have to go back and look at this because you might be in the midst of a situation and a circumstance in a heavy burden, heavy burden right now, the heavy bag of rocks that you're carrying around that you may say, you don't know what I'm going through. You don't see what I see. But what I know, what Patty knows is that I know that he is the one that goes before me. He's already laid out, laid out the plan. I know that he is with me. He will never forsake me and I don't have to fear. And when we have that situation going on in your life, we have to, to sometimes, you know, we have to come back to the word of God. And that's why we, we write these scriptures down because when we're in the midst of and we feel like, okay, maybe things are getting a little cloudy right now that, okay, I have this situation going on in my life, Lord, but I know you said that you're the one that goes before me, that you're going to be with me and that you're not going to leave me. You're not going to forsake me. There's so much encouragement in the word of God. God speaks to us through his word. He speaks through us to your situation in, in life. But you've got to come to the word of God. What is he showing you? How is he leading you? And when we talked about last week about First uh, Peter 5 and 7. And there's a this another Reminder in Psalms 55 about casting, about casting our cares. Look at the 22nd. Cast your burden on the Lord. He shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. God gives us his word as an anchor. 
what that anchor does in our life, that when you drop that anchor, just as, as in a ship, when they drop the anchor so that it stays in one place, what the anchor, what the word does in our life is, is that anchor allows us to, to stand still. No matter what is going on in our life, we've got that anchor that's going to hold us tight. There's so much wisdom in the word. In the word, we now we've seen a couple different scriptures just, just today about casting our burdens, casting our care. And God reminds us to do that. Because when we don't, it becomes stressful, doesn't it? And that load becomes heavy. And it's kind of like taking something really heavy. You're carrying something really heavy. Now you have to go upstairs. You have to climb stairs with with that heaviness. And that's kind of like when we have challenges in our life. Like, man, I have to have to carry this heavy load. Well, God reminds us to, to cast your cares. You don't have to carry it. That might be in your life right now, that challenge. And that might be the only thing that you see or the only things that you see. And and you're saying right now, you don't see what I see. This is, you don't, you aren't feeling what I feel. And that's true. I don't. But I know that we have a heavenly father that never leaves us or forsakes us always already has laid out that plan. He's just waiting for us to follow. No matter what it looks like right now, and and I'm talking to you right now, no matter what it looks like, God has already gone, gone forward has already laid it out. He just says, put down your burden. You don't have to carry it. It's not you working on it. It's me working on it. I just need you to lay it down. And I want to encourage all of you each one of us that are going through some struggles right now, or maybe even in the future, that God tells us over and over again in his word that he never leaves us and he never forsakes us. And sometimes we're in the midst of a challenge. It feels kind of lonely, doesn't it? And it feels like, wow, you don't, you don't know what, I, what I'm experiencing right now. But we have to remember whose we are. That we're a child of God. And we don't have to fear. God has already worked it out. We just have to do our part. Coming to the word of God. Getting our encouragement. Getting our instruction. Getting, this is how we, we charge up. God already says, I've, I've got you. I've got you in the palm of my hand. All I need you to do is just cast your burden. Cast it. He will sustain you. That's that anchor in our life. And just, and I want you to think about that this week. What is the anchor in your life? What holds you, what holds you strong? What holds you still? What holds you in one spot? You've got some scriptures to, to, to reference this week. Go back and and look them over and see, you know, what is God showing me? How is God leading me in the word? How is God showing me? I guarantee you God will continue just to speak to you. Be encouraged. You don't have to have that stress. You don't have to carry those burdens. 
continue to rely on your Heavenly Father. Rely on the Word. Rely on prayer. Cast those burdens. We love you here at Harvest New Life Church in our National Harvest New Life Studios. Be encouraged. Continue just to plug away one foot in front of the other. God will lead you. God will guide you. We thank you, Lord, for this word that came forth today. We thank you, Lord, for just allowing us to have the scriptures in in our life that can guide us and and help us to, to cast those cares that we have that those stressors in our life thank you lord for never leaving us and never forsaking us thank you lord for taking care of your children lord help us to take these scriptures let it ingrain within us help us to be stronger so we can be those vessels that you've called us to be in those disciples we thank you lord for this this breath that we we have every single day Help us to be more effective in this kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.